Hey YouTube, this is your boy Sharon Speaks. I apologize for the late video, but let's get right into it. Supergirl Season 5, Episode 10, The Bottle Episode. And this episode, you know, again, we, you know, we're getting like a post-crisis kind of world. You know, we no longer have Earth-38, Earth-12, Earth-3, you name it. We now have what's known as Earth Prime. And in this episode, we get a continuation of what we saw last week at the very end of the, of the last part, the question of Earth's conclusion. Earth Prime, Supergirl, The Flash, they all, and Batgirl, and Batwoman, they all exist on the very same Earth. And <clears throat> in Supergirl's part, you know, she's still trying to collect her thoughts and process everything because Lex Luthor, one of the pathogens, is now the pathogen of hope and goodness. You know, turns out all the supers are working together with Lex Luthor to stop the bad guys for the common good, and so on. Now, of course, Supergirl's not going to keep her finger off the trigger at, at all. She's still not going to trust a Luther because of how his nature is. You know, she even tried to convince Lena that, that he's just bad news. Like, don't trust Lex right away. But Lex had already spoken to his sister. And in fact, even prior to that, her own mother, Lillian, spoke to her. Says, you're better off trusting Lex because you're, at least your emotions aren't at risk. You know, which is a callback to when Lena never knew Supergirl's identity, which was Car, her best friend. And so... You know, obviously, you know, we had a lot going on in this episode, like I said. You know, even all the Brainiacs are all here now. You know, at one point, you know, they were all on their little, like their own little separate Earths. And now a wormhole opened up in the sense that Melt the Breast restarted itself. You know, all the Brainiacs, you know, that all met up at Al's Bar and Sports and so on, they all came through a wormhole and now they're over at the DEO, I believe. And now there's even a, an evil, malicious uh, Brainiac now. In fact, there's this one female Brainiac that warned Brainiac and said, you're going to have to give up everything that you know and love to help Lex to stop Leviathan. And that also includes his relationship with Nia, which is going to really suck to be a fucking breakup, you ask me. But then also, here's the really big kicker. Um, Jeremy, you know, Jordan, you know, who plays Gwen, is now back. This is his doppelganger. He's the one person that they believe that he might be the key to stopping Leviathan once and for all. Now, can Supergirl and Lex Luthor put their differences aside and just let it be what it is? Because even Lex Luthor acknowledges the fact that, hey, look, um, we can still, you know, in the public eye, be buddy-buddy, but still go on about our, our uh, morally, I forget the word that he used for quote, but we can still go about our side hustles as heroes. You know, just the public eye just won't have to know about it. You know, but he did, you know, patch things up with, with Lena. He already restored all her memories, so she already knows what the game is. You know, at the end of the day, you know, he's like, look, I confess that I was lonely and so on and so on. You know, and pretty much just addressing his generational trauma, if you ask me, or his own inner turmoil. Anyway, like I said, can they patch things up to, to bring down Leviathan together? We'll see what happens. But this is because this is still so real and weird to me, even being the viewer, being the reviewer. So... We'll see what happens, man. This has been your Wilshire. I love you guys. Peace and love.